okay so w- being that you're from like the middle of california how did it feel because i understand that like pretty early on when you started popping off phoenix and like a few other people from southern california reached out to you yep. and then also mozzie which yep. given this shit is so territorial in california were you kind of surprised to have people from all over the state reaching out and like respecting your talent and shit yeah i was for, for real because uh, i did a i did a freestyle and i forgot what i said but i said mozzie's name in a freestyle mm. i told everybody tag him in the comments I woke up at like six in the morning. I thought this shit was fake. Like a week later, I see a text on my phone like, "You hard little bruh, send me his number." I'm like, off one freestyle, my, and one song out on this like, hell no. I had to like wipe in the eyes, look. I'm like, oh yeah, this is really real. It's easy to forget that the big name rappers are actual fans and actually spend time listening to new rappers that only have one video out. You know, they phone all day. And I ain't even gonna lie, like I'm gonna keep this gangster. Like shout out Mozzie, you feel me? Like saluted, bro, real nigga. But like when I when I put my song out, like I ain't gonna lie, Empire took my song down, really, Mm. off my own YouTube, and that was my first. That was my second, uh, like, second time posting on my channel, just an audio. My shit had 20K in two days. How was Empire able to do that? And I don't know. I just, I emailed. They never hit me hit me back. Like, I reached out to Mozzie, like, never reached me back. Like, ever since that happened, like, we ain't even talked since then. Was it not your beat or something? No, nah, it was all my beat. We went to the studio, bro, locked in. I His took videos. Clear it. Everything. Oh, with Mo- the song you did with yeah, Mozzie. Yeah, it didn't oh. get clear. But see, when I met with Mozzie, I didn't pay him nothing. Or, like, it was off the dribble. Like, it right. was love, genuine. So I didn't, I'm doing, it's my second time like doing a song i ain't i ain't know i gotta get a verse clear he ain't tell me none of that i'm thinking like we just gonna put this song out nigga i'm finna go up phoenix tapped in not even after that so i'm like it's game over like uh-huh. and then you feel me they just took my song down i was like what the fuck and, and you're hitting mozzie up being like bro can you help me get yeah, this fixed and he, did, he just didn't respond nah, damn answer. so i was like Crazy. you feel me i don't know if it's due to politics or what was going on or like you feel me like you feel, but like i said bro real nigga just for reaching out and noticing a nigga that's all i need to know uh, that I'm, yeah. I'm doing my thing you feel me and then like even with, with phoenix like uh same thing he hit me up come to la we did a studio session i was rocking with some uh i ain't even gonna say his name but he, that studio nigga who i was with you know who i, I ain't even gonna say bro name because there's some that. history but we was with phoenix and uh we locked in you feel me in motels and motels sweet sweets doing our thing I have a whole EP with Phoenix in my phone. Mm. I don't know. Have you heard that song he did with uh, Slim Jr. or something like that? That Perk Time? Uh, I'm not sure. I just popped the Perk. I'm on Perk Time. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on that song. I got that song in my phone. They took <laughs> my verse off and put AZ Chike on it, I think. Oh, shit. And I was like, what? And I hit up Phoenix like, why y'all take my verse off? He like, oh, that was bro's song. Like, I'm like, bro, I was in the Airbnb with y'all doing that shit. Like, I asked y'all about my verse. Nigga, y'all said I gassed that shit in one take. Like. And I freestyled that shit. I barely started writing this year. So I know you're feeling like, damn, the industry kind of grimy. Like, yeah. I, I f- with these dudes. They seem real as hell. And then I'm shit like, is a little different fuck, after, like, right? But shout out Phoenix, too, though, just for noticing the nigga. Like, you feel me? Like, that's all I need. Like, I'm not asking for no handouts. I come from nothing. So I'm not expecting a nigga to do nothing for me. Mm. You feel right, me? Right. So it's like... Like okay, like it's kind of just showed me like maybe that ain't my maybe that ain't my my placement. Like mm-hmm. it's meant for me to do this a different way. Right. You hey, that's me? mature ass way to think about it. Cause a lot of niggas would have just came up here and said fuck crash them, out. Yep. Hell yeah, I probably would have for yeah. a lot for a lot less. <laughs> he said I'll you see dudes make enemies out of yeah. other rappers yeah, like over yeah. little ass right, shit. Right, but yeah, I would have came up here and said some dumb shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be a real nigga though. If I was your age, for sure. yeah, I'm gonna be a real nigga. Cause <laughs> at the end of the day, it's yeah. like I gotta be humble. Like you feel me? Cause them niggas was way bigger than me, and they still is. Like you feel me? No, I'm just keeping the gangster. I know I'm viral I'm a nigga Don't get me wrong But like They already in the industry where They got their way So it's like For them to even Tap in with a nigga was like You feel me Good looking oh, yeah, salute, But it was like Damn Like an opportunity For my family to blow up It was like Damn You feel me Cause that Niggas was telling me A whole bunch of shit Like hey you gonna get fat Nigga you gonna be eating steak You gonna be with your family out here So I'm thinking like Like nigga like no disrespect, but I ain't no no ho nigga. You don't sell me no dream pee. Like, you feel me? I'm a real nigga. Like keep it gangster. If you ain't f- with a nigga, then say that. You feel me? Straight up. Cause it was like on some. I go out there, be in L. A. Nigga be tapped in, but when I go in Fresno, I try to hit a nigga up on some genuine shit. Like how you doing, bro? You good? Like checking on a nigga. I'm a real nigga. You feel me? Like I, I don't just do music. I do relationship. Like when I tap in with somebody, we gonna really lock in. You feel me? Cause mm. where I come from, it's not. It's just not just music or none of that. It's deeper than that. Like I, I really like to tap in with a nigga. I'm trying to go to niggas' hoods. I'm trying to go see what's cracking. You feel me? Like, sure. so it was just like, like the opportunity was lost. I'm like, damn. But shit, shout out to them niggas though for noticing the nigga at that time. I ain't gonna lie. That's just talk. I just seen that right now. The drum. Yes. Yeah,
Yeah. Hey, that's a smooth ass way to handle that shit, bro. But you feel me? That's crazy because, like, same exact thing with Skrilla. He meets Uzi, does a video with him, records a whole song with Uzi, comes out, starts doing crazy numbers, boom, label down. takes it down. And then he tried to, like, reach out to him and, like, never got it back up and shit like that.